Hey guys, welcome to What The Flip. My name is Travis, this is my wife Kay. If you are new to this channel, well what we are doing is, uh, well currently, we're flipping a house. That means we're trying to sell it for money. So this channel is a little bit DIY, it's a little bit vlog. If that sounds like something you'd be into, why don't you go and hit that subscribe button and follow along for the ride. We were thinking today would be a great opportunity to show you guys the house that we're working on in its current state. We get these videos out as we can so you guys don't get to see it in real time. Okay fam, so let's head on over to the house and kick it like it's MTV Cribs, circa 1997. Okay, let's talk exterior. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because we have a curb appeal video coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. But let's quickly talk about everything we've done to the exterior of this house. This was our starting point. She's not the prettiest thing to look at, but she's got some good bones. She is a sturdy gal. The roof is gone, the windows are gone. There's this hideous 1970s trailer park issued Luan door which is great if you uh, like having your shit stolen. But on the bright side, the previous owners were nice enough to leave us one pile of trash in the yard, a cat carrier, and yep, that's carpet on the lawn. Fast forward to now, we have added a new roof, new windows, we painted the brick white. Added a new door, painted it mint for a pop of color. Then we got rid of the trash, ripped up the old carpet lawn, and applied generous amounts of grass seed. So all that's left is to fix the bottom of the house, which we will be stuccoing and painting this week when we replace the basement windows. We're gonna be covering the dormers with wood shake. We think the natural wood element is gonna look great. And cedar smells amazing. Okay, that's enough for the exterior. Let's head on inside. Come on. Okay, welcome to the living room. As you can tell, it's still very much under construction, but let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've done so far. Okay, the living room was a complete dumpster fire, but let's look at some of the positives. They did leave us some nice furniture, like this over here, and this trendy lamp, and we got a game table for part cheesy, or maybe you're more of a phase 10 kind of family, eh? And you may have missed our favorite feature, but if you look real close, you can see our custom handle that's designed to help operate our ceiling fan. The room was pretty dark and depressing, so to brighten everything up, we refinished the floors and went with a lighter stain. We went with a neutral, bright gray on the walls. We redid all the wood accents with white. We painted the fireplace white to tie it all together, and we went with a flush mount light fixture. These ceilings aren't the tallest in the world, so it makes the room feel more open and gives the appearance of height to the ceilings. Same thing goes for the dining room. We decided not to go with a chandelier just to keep the room feeling open. We probably aren't gonna be staging this house, so we don't want people to have to walk around light fixtures if they don't have to. All right, I don't know who designed this kitchen, but gotta believe they're in prison getting what they deserve. This is an absolute disaster. Uh, we basically had to throw the whole thing away and start over. We really damaged this plaster when removing the cabinets and the beadboard, which really created a lot of work for us. We scraped up all this nasty vinyl floor to reveal these beautiful hardwood floors. Just look at those. They actually, surprisingly, turned out really well. Okay, so I know we still have a lot left to do in this kitchen, but I was so excited for you to see the progress because this room has hands down been one of the most frustrating and difficult rooms in this entire remodel. And I'm so stoked it is finally starting to look like a kitchen again. We're almost done with the cabinets. We've got the floors done. We've got appliances coming this week. Uh, we've just got countertops and light fixtures and then we're practically done in here. As far as the countertops go, we were gonna go with quartz, but just due to the pandemic, uh, it would take way too long for those to get here. So we're gonna go with a quicker, cheaper, easier route and we're gonna pour concrete countertops. So we've done that before in the past. We love the way that it looks. If you guys are interested in learning how we do that, leave a comment down below and maybe we'll make a video about the whole process. And if you were curious about the giant hole in the kitchen, well, it turns out this was a false wall so the HVAC could go to the upstairs. So we will be using this channel to run the plumbing to the new bathroom upstairs. Okay, enough with the kitchen, moving on. 
And same thing goes with this downstairs bedroom. It's amazing what a little paint and plaster can do for a room. Oh, and overlook our mess. Now I know it looks like this bathroom is tennis waiting to happen, but just don't be so quick to write it off. There's some really good hidden gems in here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and point out some of the key features of this room. Like not one, but two cabinets for ample bathroom storage needs. A dual purpose heater that holds up your sink and keeps you warm while you go number twosies. We've got a towel back there that's clearly used by the previous tenant, and that is not a standard issue toilet. That is the Crapmaster 5000 equipped with two power poop bars. That way you can really grip and rip. We ripped all the cabinets out, and then we had to scrape all the plaster off the wall. By the way, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Next, we ripped up the floors so that we would have a completely clean slate. Come on, I mean, this looks amazing. We went back and forth on whether to use shiplap or drywall, but in the end, the decision to use shiplap with the penny tile, these dark accents, as well as the flush mount trim, man, I'm just so pleased with how this bathroom looks. All that's left is to finish the drywall on the ceiling, the trim on the can lights, and then we actually have to plumb in the bathroom and add the toilet and the tub. All right, so let's head upstairs. We're just gonna breeze through this because it's more of the same. We've painted the walls and trim, added new light fixtures and hardware. We do have to finish patching and painting the ceilings up here. And other than that, the only new exciting thing happening is a new bathroom. All right guys, so that was the update show and now you're all caught up. So I hope you guys can appreciate all the work that we've done in this house so far. We still have a lot left to do and a short amount of time to do it. We're gonna be cranking out projects like crazy and hopefully get some extra videos out to you guys. Yeah, so if there's anything you guys wanna see in particular, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. And other than that, we will catch you on the flip side. Bye. God, <laughs> wow. 11 seconds and half of that was just for me to get back on the other side. Let's do it one more time just for funsies because I feel like I didn't get satisfied. Someone else got a hell of a lot more screen time than I did. All right, just shut up. All right, Hold guys. On. It's Saturday, so every jackass is driving Harley. <laughs> if there's anything you guys want to see in particular, just leave a comment down below. We'll try to make it for you. Nah, I don't want to say that. I got a radio on, even though I got the two wheels and I got the windshield and I got a refrigerator and one of these things. I might as well just have a car. But I want everybody to know that I drive a Harley, so I'm going to have that sweet tattoo and wear boots. Wear my leather boots with the buckle. And I can get a tattoo of a wolf with an eagle flying off and of its back. And everywhere. Oh, God, I love fringe hanging from my jacket. <laughs> so it just lets me know how fast I'm going. Of course, you won't be able to tell because no wind's going to touch my body because I got a giant <laughs> windshield. But I've got AC because it's a it's a pretty expensive thing. I mean, and I could have bought a double control. wide. So that was the update show. You're uh -huh. all caught up. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get in there. Go, God, no! <laughs> this house so far what fucking <laughs> all right guys <laughs> slow down oh god we still have a lot left to do um we're gonna be cranking out projects hold on <laughs> you think you saw me all right <laughs> ready are we recording and now you're all caught up all right, let's get through this because I'm in a damn sweatshirt in 90 degree weather. And now you're all caught up. I hope you can appreciate all the- <laughs> You're all caught up. <laughs> you said that like it was a warning. <laughs> now be careful. You're all caught up. Can you feel it?